guys, so today I thought I'd do a video just showing you real quick how to use um, striping brushes. I have two that I use pretty regularly. This this one here, it came in a pack of three. Um, it's synthetic hair, and I got this one on eBay, um, the pack of three for pretty cheap. And then I got this one here in a swap, and this is a sable hair brush. Um, it's a little bit stronger as far as the tip itself and the bristles. Um, I'm not sure where this one came from because like I said I got it in a swap but both of them work fine. Um, I've actually trimmed both of them. This one was almost twice as long as it is now and I actually trimmed it shorter. And then same thing with this one. I trimmed it because um, I needed a different size. So it depends what I'm doing as to which brush I like to use. If I'm doing like zebra striping I prefer this longer one. If I'm doing straight lines then I usually use this one here, the shorter one. So I just thought I'd go through real quick kind of how to use that. So I just have a couple practice fingers here that have acrylic on them. And I'm just going to use those real quick to kind of show you. So if I'm doing zebra striping, and this is just regular black acrylic paint. Um, the brand is Americana, but any brand will do. And these are water-based acrylic so they can be cleaned up with water and also with alcohol if you mess up. So all I'm doing is I'm going into the brush and I'm just going to load my brush. Usually these ones are fairly thin and easy to work with um, so I can work right out of the bottle. When I'm doing zebra striping I'm going to rest my finger here on the side of the finger so if I was working on a person they would have their hand like this in mine and I would do the same thing. I would still rest my finger either on their hand or on mine on my finger down below here and then I would just start from the corner and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make a V and then I'm going to build from there my zebra stripes so my first one I'm going to got it down and then I'm going to pull and I'm going to come down to the side again and I'm going to pull and I'm going to meet those two like so and then if I need to I'm going to load my brush again And then coming from the other side, I can either choose to do another V, which I usually do if it's a longer nail. And I'm just going to grab it at the corner here, right on the side, make sure my brush is touching, and then pull it out. And then again, and meet the two. Now from there, I'm going to add stripes as needed. So let's say I want one here on the bottom, and I'm just going to touch down and pull my brush and as I'm pulling I'm releasing some of the pressure so that it comes up thinner at the end and you can drag the brush further if you want so again on the other side I'm going to come in a little bit closer so hopefully you guys can see I'm going to put that down and I'm going to drag and as I'm dragging I'm pulling up and same thing again push down and then I'm going to drag. And now all you have to do, once you have your design and you like the way it is, all you need to do is wait for it to dry completely and then top coat it. Um, if you don't top coat acrylic paint, you will run the risk of it actually coming apart and it won't last. As soon as you wash your hand, it will come off. So make sure that you top coat it really well. And also make sure that it's dry so you don't smear your design. So I'm going to go ahead and set that one off to the side. I'm going to pull out my other finger here. So I got this one here. Let's say that your um, acrylic paint's kind of thick and you need to work it thinner. So if I need to do that, I just get something plastic or something that I can work with and I have that there. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of water to it. So if you see, I added a little bit of water and I'm just going to start to work that. until I get it the consistency I want it. Now it's easier to do striping with a thinner paint mix. So once you get your brush loaded up again, and you're going to have to kind of play with it to see what consistency you like for your paint. So let's say I was wanting to do a stripe just down the center here. You're going to touch down at the cuticle area and you're just going to pull straight up.
Now this already has top coat on it so it's not wanting to stick. And then a thicker one. If you wanted a thinner one you would put less paint on there. And then same thing if you wanted to do zebra stripes, you can still use a thinner brush, or a shorter brush I should say. And you would do the exact same thing that I showed you with the black. You would grab it from one side, and pull it. And then if you just wanted to do swirls or something, um, you would just touch down your brush and then bring it down. And you could even add dots with it. So really it just kind of depends what you're wanting to do. I mean you can use any brush. It does not have to be a sable brush. Um, a good striping brush is really hard to find. So I would recommend just going online and kind of looking around see what's available. You might also be able to find them at your local um, beauty supply stores. They usually carry them there too. They might be a little more expensive than if you actually purchase them on eBay or something like that. So let's say that you made a mess and you wanted to actually clean up some of your acrylic. Um, you would either get some water or some rubbing alcohol and that's what this is. This is just 91% alcohol. And let's say you didn't like the way the bottom stripe was right there. So you would just get a Q-tip and dip it into the alcohol itself. So I have that, I have alcohol on there. And all you're going to do is come in and you're just going to wipe that away. You can also use um, water. If you already have a top coat down, you can... Um, just scrape it away with your fingernail but if you're working on a client that might not be a very good idea so if you can see I took that away and it came off completely and then you're ready to try again um, if you wanted to also you can use like I said just regular water will take it off you'll have to scrub a little bit harder so it just depends on what you have handy I usually use alcohol if I'm working on a fingernail just because it's quicker and if I'm working on someone um, I don't want them sitting there while I'm trying to clean it up. If the paint's still wet you can just use a little bit of water and it comes off really easily or you can wipe it with your finger usually if it hasn't had a chance to dry. So say you made a mistake you can just wipe it off and then I would just go in and make sure that it's completely clean before I go in and start trying to decorate again. So I hope that helped you guys out. If I've left anything out, um, please comment down below. Just real quick, if you're cleaning your brushes, just run them under water. If you're using acrylic, that should be good enough. Um, you can purchase expensive brush cleaner if you want, but you really don't need to. So I hope that helped everyone out. Like I said, if I forgot anything, go ahead and comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching.